Anyone on a cancer journey will have spent a lot of time in clinical surroundings. So when we were designing the support centre here in Hobart, the idea was to create a warm environment where the physical space itself was something that visitors could enjoy. The centre has an extensive kitchen where people can come along, enjoy a cup of tea, sit together, chat, as well as spacious rooms for our support groups to do their work. The centre also provides a range of complementary therapies such as yoga and oncology massage, access to a comprehensive range of print resources, we have a very extensive wig library and of course all these services are available at no cost to the public. We know that people need more than medical treatment when they're dealing with a cancer diagnosis and here we focus on the individual as a person and the impacts the cancer has on them and their families. Some visitors choose a quiet space to themselves, while others take part in a range of support programs that have been designed to promote emotional and physical well-being during and after treatment for cancer. We also have professional staff at the centre who visitors can speak to and who provide a range of assistance. Visitors to the centre who take part in support programs often say visiting has improved their self-confidence and sense of well-being. Back in 2009 I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I didn't have any symptoms or anything like that and I was really quite concerned about it all and I didn't know what to do or where to go and I saw a met an article in the Mercury newspaper in the community services section and it was advertising uh, prostate cancer support groups so I thought oh, I'll go along and try that out and uh, I was so impressed with the group that I still remain a member to this very day and attend meetings regularly. Um, in October I was diagnosed with gastric cancer and um, it was on the second lot of chemo that I was having uh, that I started to lose my hair, um, which was a concern to me. My daughters and I decided we'd shave it before, you know, take control and um, we'd shave it before I actually lost it. It all fell out and um, so actually coming into the centre um, and meeting Sarah and um, trying on some wigs, uh, we, we had a fun time and as I said at the start of my relationship uh, I'd, I'd come here all the time. It's um, very relaxing, very very calming, um, feel part of a, 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 a family really. Cancer Council Tasmania staff and volunteers are available to assist members of the public with any inquiry or support need relating to cancer which can be made by simply dropping in, no appointment is necessary.